pink sitting there. You definitely play the deep screw if that pink was a red, because it might chase back and you might land on it. Looks like he's playing the stun off the right half of them. Brilliant. That's the way to play it. That was the right shot. And then you're trusting to luck. And when you're having a day like John's having, it doesn't happen. John Higgins, 38. piece of thinking wasn't it give the pocket every Six. chance to accept the red Seven. of course as he always is Alan's Van Gogh the pace promoted the pot 14. But even as the red was going towards the pocket at that pace, I wasn't convinced. There's an art, I think, to the way that you approach this type of chance. You want to keep up the cadence and the, the free-flowing way that he plays, but be careful at the same time. He likes to flow. This type of chance. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Yeah, John Kasnaki nine, no wonder. Thirty five. Sullivan, 35. Did he just take his eye off the pot for a split second? I think that's all that was. in this match. 70. And the O'Sullivan miss, reminiscent of what Higgins himself did in frame five when he missed a black thinking about position. Thirty-two. Thirty-seven. So easier said than done. Thirty-three. Especially when a mistake is punished, as Higgins did there. This match far from concluded. The scoreline now eight-six. So, from a, a ranking perspective alone, you can understand if nerves are a little frayed. Eight. 
Nine. You know, that, that red looked straight forward, but it was thinner than half ball. Long back swing accelerated through it, and the cue ball tied off the cushion. <coughs> Puff the cheeks, and let's kill my cropper again. Ronnie O'Sullivan, Ella. Can't push something near to the corner. The left corner. Oh, you miss. What else are them for? Yeah, free ball, the green. Does it pass? Does the green go to free the far ball. corner? Cleverly playing for Brown. No, oh, that's brilliant. Well played. Five. Six. Higgins, the, the master tactician. Missing the red altogether and leaving a free ball. That goes wrong, yeah, okay, so that's end of break. But the way that he goes about his next chance, always got that flow where he's liable to just catch fire at any moment. One or so, 27. It's difficult with the cue ball. So close to the cushion, a little bit of right-hand side on it. Oh, what a shot this is. I mean, if he... Oh, I slipped a red. Dear, where's the cue ball? And it goes. <laughs> Sorry, my what? mistake. Well, it was all happening with that shot, wasn't it? What else, Sullivan? What? He doesn't really... Look like he's going to knock in a stunning long red. He hasn't been overly convincing in that department all match long. A long pot success. Ronnie clearly the stronger of the two. Boy, this is a toughie. Oh, every credit. What a pot. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. In the back of John's mind there, he's thinking, if I miss this, I'm going to sell the frame. He's thinking about the long red that John knocked in. And you force your opponent into taking one on that he doesn't really fancy, but you get no other outs. It's always a dangerous, tight rope to walk. And he's going to... He's going to have a go at this because there's nothing else he can play. And all of a sudden, chance to at least get right back into this frame. Yes, and in that kind of situation, you're unwittingly providing your opponent with clarity. 18. And there's only one choice. Nine. That's the clarity you need. You get down and think, well, this is it. Quite tight. Whether he, whether he's going deep, so he's going to try and promote the black towards right corner. Brilliant. Nicely done, though. Right into the heart of the pocket. Four. 
48. Forty-nine. That's the key shot then, guaranteed to be decent on the final red. Just got under the cue ball. Just a hair too much. Fifty-five. Mm. Oh, what a recovery! Brilliant shot. Fifty-six. Classic case of you can be as good a player as you want in this sport of ours, but unless you can do it 63. when you absolutely have to do it, you're never going to get anywhere. Pop the long red that he, he did at the start of this and put this together has been incredible. 66. It's his best break of the day. 70. John Higgins, 17. Missing the blue did not matter. John Higgins treading at the comeback trail. 8-7. 80. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. One. Oh, yeah. He's in business again. Struck. 51. Beautifully. <laughs> 95. Absolutely fabulous. And then you lose the cue ball. Round the corner with the cue ball. Oh, a supreme piece of cue, and that was. Thirty-one. Thirty-nine. He's got a bit of time in his hands to work the opening. Okay, he's decided on more difficult red to right middle. Forty-six. This could be the key to the the frame. This one shot. Ah, no good. Forty-seven. Trying to talk himself into taking on blue or yellow, but he knows what the correct shot is. Johnny against 47. Yeah, even the great players can't convince themselves sometimes, as I say, he knew that that was the right shot to play. And he doesn't allow himself to stray from that very often, does John. 47. Somewhere near a side cushion, but he doesn't want to open them up just now. He's hoping for a better shot to play. A few shots time. Is he trying to push this red to the cushion? No, it's too risky. Oh dear. What a blunder. That is not John Higgins light at all. Now Sullivan out of his chair like a flash. He can't believe what he's just seen. Six. Seventy-nine. 
Sir. The black was put on the top cushion by design by John Tough. Higgins. But that's not enough to provide a stumbling block for O'Sullivan. They are there, although this is awkward queuing. Oh, what a kick. O'Sullivan, what? No, oh, this is a monster. Oh, a cue ball takes off. Ah, oh, wow. And the frustration by Ronnie banging the cue One. in the, the end of the table is wholly understandable. Because in his own mind there, he was well set to win frame and match. These days, Alan, we don't see many kicks. But Ronnie O'Sullivan uses the old-style chalk. Twelve again. Cue ball looked good in the air, didn't it? Was that bad at contact? Given the situation of the match. Fish. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Of course, we have to applaud Higgins' tenacity. 33. Higgins, but 33. the frame there was all about that violent kick. Has it kick started? Higgins' recovery. We'll find out after the break. Is it going to be another deciding frame finish for the Rocket on his return? Seven. Eight. It's the, the tension, the intensity of a final transplanted to a Monday night, to day one. Fifty. That red that's nearest to black, he might 21. be working off that. We know what he's like with that red. 22. Landing low straight on it and bringing the pack of reds into the equation. Let's see what he plays here. He might be playing on it this time. Yeah, he has. He's overcooked it, so a change of plan. 29. But there's always 30. with a Sullivan. Plan A doesn't work out. There's plenty of other letters to choose from. Is he going in this time? Not too bad. And the pot's not a certainty to right middle. 37. But if it's guaranteed on the black, this is the big shot now. Thirty-eight. his cue ball oh he's just on the red on the left I think thin cut back 51 what a touch <laughs> 52 what a touch that was The 
doesn't need to mess with the pack. Two reds with high value colours and he's almost home. 55. 56. Repeatedly this evening, John Higgins has poked and prodded at the psyche, at the resolve of Ronnie O'Sullivan. But the world champion 64. has stood firm. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 69. John's not the guy you want to be messing with and taking it for granted and leaving him any sort of opening. That's clever. He might be leaving something, but at least he's keeping the red by the right cushion. Yes, he's got the bonus of the black being tied up. So John can do nothing else but try and release that red. You see, he's worried. You can see him he's e trying to edge the red to the <laughs> the left because he knows what John's like in this type of situation. Higgins doesn't have to pot a black off this red. Nine. The reputation of Higgins precedes him. All players know that Higgins has won so many frames from requiring snookers. He's in the same mould as Mark Selby. Yeah, I mean, it's a monumental ask, obviously, especially now he's landed pretty much nowhere in that red. Sixteen. Can't get round the houses for pink or black. Seventeen. He needs 22. one four-point penalty snooker, two reds, two blacks, and all the colours, to force a respotted black. John Higgins, twenty-two. So Ronnie doesn't want to lift that red on the cushion. And for good reason. Now then the frame takes a different complexion. One. If and when he got the opportunity, he would even peel it down to blue and get a five pointer to be able to win. Yeah, I know that's all in the future and it might not happen, that might not transpire that way, but so that's part of the way John plays these situations. Right, he played in behind the black water, I guess that is. And it goes without saying, he almost must hit this because if he doesn't, this could be a free ball. Wow. 
Mm, 35, can he cut the red in for the tie? Ronnie will be very thankful that the yellow's gone by the side cushion. Now then, can he get on the black? No, he's got it, he's got a good angle to lift the yellow if he wants. What a shot that is. Just a steady pace, any piece of the yellow, and he's bound to be on it. Oh, just a double kiss. Eight. John Higgins, eight. He is a magician in these kind of circumstance, but. Higgins is such a fighter. One good shot, one good positional shot. In addition to the yellow disappearing. Oh, he couldn't find one. Oh, he's, mm, he's not left a sitter, but... I didn't expect his next shot to be in a respot black. He's feeling it now, O'Sullivan, and you have to say, who wouldn't? Yeah, it's okay here, Ronnie. He can thin the yellow. And behind the black. Just keep an eye on the cue ball, though. Don't want to mess with the green pocket. Yeah, played it thick, played it in a different way, but... There was a risk attached to that, but he's had a slice of good fortune. You can almost feel O'Sullivan's relief. I think he's going to gain an awful lot from today, O'Sullivan. Fine. He's not been at his best, but I think his approach to the match and the way he's stuck in there tells you an awful lot about Fine. what he wants to do here this week. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. He's, he's toughed it out when he's had to. He's played a lot of good stuff 40. when the occasion need be, and he's just about a worthy winner. 20. Yes, Higgins contributed to a cracker. But it is Ronnie O'Sullivan, the rocket goes through. Mm -hmm.